what's up everybody hope your summer is going well gotta talk about the foolishness happened last month during the NBA draft didn't have a chance to get over it I've been out vacationing like all y'all should be I hope every single one of y'all get out on vacation and just put the news and the internet up for a minute it's the best thing in the world but we gotta address the stupidity black men y'all give ESPN and Malika Andrews too much power I seen a bunch of people complain about the stuff she said and how she asked the questions she asked. My thing is, what y'all should turn around and do when some of these reporters ask these dumb questions to try and embarrass you, is ask them a question that embarrassed them. Just say, oh yeah, why you asking me about this gun charge or this robbery? Hey, let's talk about that dude you gave head to back in high school or college. Remember him? Like, that's what that's why people should respond to dumb people like that. And most importantly, when y'all have the things that y'all have, uh, like those, uh, what are, the NFL has one, the NBA has one, baseball has one, it's not coming to my mind right now, it's uh, Union, there we go, sorry guys, I'm off my game a little bit, y'all have NBA Union, NFL Union, when these people do this, y'all need to go to the NBA Union and say, hey, just like they give y'all limitations, y'all need to have limitations on some of the stuff these reporters can ask, say, and do. Because right now in sports, it's, it, it makes no sense to me, guys, that the reason why we watch sports is for these people playing. These people are playing. Uh, they are the talented ones we pay our money to see. Why does somebody who doesn't contribute to the sport that, at all have that much power? And we can go back to the Kanye thing if y'all watch the videos about, you know, the whole Jewish thing. And it's, and it's not the fact that black people hate Jewish people. It's the fact that, okay, it's known that Malika Andrews is Jewish. And you wonder if they say, let's make her look like a black woman, but also be that. But they'd be able to attack black men so they can't do anything about it. Kind of like the Drake Meek Mill thing. With the old Drake and Meek Mill thing like who you want you may think meek is nice you may think drake is better whatever is your opinion is your opinion whatever that's neither here nor there but people know that drake is also half jewish and a lot of times what people thought in that situation was why when meek would make diss records back to drake they wouldn't play him like they would play because you know who runs the radio stations you know who runs the media you know who has control of things he didn't lose his fan base over it because it it shows just like with everything else, they can play and try and delete and post and uh, kick people off this social media, that social media. It doesn't do anything but make their following bigger or stay the same. So a lot of times stuff is manufactured. And ESPN has manufactured a bunch of women like Malika Andrews and other people to be in sports journalism that don't really give a shit about the athletes. But like Slim Thug say, it's about time for us to have our own. You should be talking about basketball, the dream come true, the positivity. All the stupid stuff off the court doesn't need to be brought up unless the person's 100% guilty. I'm tired of people getting fired for allegation, uh, excuse me, accusations, allegations. Y'all remember the one time Boosie got in trouble and the girl said he did something and she was all the way in St. Louis and Boosie was somewhere else. Like, same thing happened with Nori one time, like... But they don't go this hard when Zach Randolph, Jalen Rose, and some of the other people are falsely accused of stuff. It's only to, like, demean the athlete. It's just like, I feel like, I used to say it was crazy that it was a form of slavery. But in a certain way, I'm starting to think it is. You have a responsibility as an athlete to be a role model to a kid to do certain things. But you don't have the responsibility to be harassed and fucked with. And because you're a media member, you can ask any question. And if that's the case, I feel like you as a professional should be able to ask the media member any question. And turn around and ask her, remember that dude you gave head to that one time? 